In this video lecture, we will go through two commonly used option trading strategies, which involve simultaneously buying and selling of different options. The first strategy that we are going to discuss is the bull call spread. The strategy involves options on the same underlying security, with the same expiration date, but with different strike prices. Therefore, this strategy is also known as a vertical spread. Let's learn the strategy through an example. The stock of Infosys is trading at 900 rupees, as on the 29th of September 2017. A trader expects that Infosys will give marginally good results and the stock will move up to 940 rupees on the expiration date of the 26th of October 2017. One way to monetize on this view is to buy a 920 strike call for 15 rupees. If the trader's view is right, and the stock indeed moves to 940 rupees, then the 920 strike call will be in the money by 20 points, and after deducting the premium paid, the net profit will be of 5 rupees. If the trader's view is wrong then he will lose out on the premium of 15 rupees. A risk of 15 rupees for a ward of 5 rupees doesn't look like the right thing to do. A better strategy in this situation to improve the risk reward ratio is, in addition to buying a 920 strike call for 15 rupees, sell a 940 strike call, and collect a premium of 10 rupees. The net premium paid is 5 rupees, which is basically the difference between the premium paid for the long 920 strike call of 15 rupees, and the premium collected from the short 940 strike call of 10 rupees. As per trade of you, if the Infosys stock moves to 940 rupees, on the option expiration date, then, the 920 strike call is 20 points in the money. The 940 strike call has no value, and after deducting the net premium paid of 5 rupees, the net profit is 15 rupees. This looks like a much better risk reward as compared to only long call strategy. The net profit from the strategy will be the same if the Infosys moves up to 1000, 1200, or any other number above 940, which is the short call strike price. Next scenario is if Infosys stays below long call strike price of 920. We already know if the option is out of the money on expiration date, then the option expires worthless. So both the call options with strike price of 920 and strike price of 940 are out of the money and expire worthless. The trader lost 15 rupees. The premium paid for the long 920 strike call, but made 10 rupees as the premium collected from the short 940 strike call. So, the net loss is 5 rupees. Now, what if Infosys stock price at the expiration date ends between 920, long call strike price, and 940, short call strike price? In this case, the 940 strike call is out of the money, and has no value, and 920 strike call is in the money, and is worth the difference between the Infosys stock price, and 920. For example, if Infosys stock price is at 930, then 920 strike call is worth 10 rupees, and after deducting the net premium paid, the net profit is 5 rupees. A combination of the payoffs of the long call, with strike price 920, and the short call, with strike price 940, is the payoff of a bull call spread, in blue. In summary, a bull call spread is a limited gain, and a limited loss strategy. The choice of strike price is a matter of balancing risk reward, and the probability of price crossing the break even point. The second strategy that we are going to discuss in the video is called the bear put spread. The bear put spread strategy is used when outlook is moderately bearish. The strategy involves options on the same underlying security, with the same expiration date, but with different strike prices. There are two steps to set up a bear put strategy for the Infosys stock trading at 900 rupees. 
Step 1, long 880 strike put. Step 2, short 860 strike put. A combination of the payoffs of the long put, with strike price 880, and the short put, with strike price 860, is the payoff of a bear put spread, in blue. As you can see, both the profits and losses are capped. To learn options trading and various strategies in detail, enroll for our free course. Options Trading Strategies in Python Basic, on Quantra. The link to the course is in the description below.